Hi guys, it's Dr. Whitney Bowe, and I'm covering one of my favorite topics today, your body's good bugs, the mighty warriors that keep us healthy on the outside and the inside. But first, let's get past the creep out factor. Bugs tend to creep people out, I get it. But I found the best way to diffuse critter anxiety is to highlight all the good that bugs can do. Take spiders. They're fast and furry and crazy-eyed, sure, but did you know they catch mosquitoes, sparing us itchy welts, they help organic farmers control pests to yield delicious crops, and even their bite actually holds promise, right? Because the venom of certain species actually has medicinal value. Now, if all of that fails to calm your fears, I go to the hive. Bees. Bees make honey. And who doesn't love honey? Works like a charm, right? Well, that's why I'm taking a similar tack now when introducing you to your skin's microbiome, the family of bugs, the rainforest of diverse microorganisms, more specifically, bacteria, fungi, and viruses, scurrying about your skin's various layers, from its deep down fat cushion to its epidermal cells on high. Now, there are more than one trillion bacteria in the skin originating from roughly 1,000 different species. And they vary by body part based on the amount of light in the area, the precise pH levels, and other conditions, things like climate. You know, is it moist or is it dry? Uh, topography, is the area hairy or is it smooth? And when they're happy and harmonious, your complexion is too. But when disrupted, say by harsh cleansers, or dietary missteps, their discontent can surface as breakouts, rosacea flares, psoriasis, eczema, even random bouts of sensitivity. But here it comes, did you know, a healthy microbiome can stave off skin infections. Through their sheer strength in numbers, these friendly microbes can actually stop the advance of bad bugs preventing an invasion. They also help create and maintain an acidic skin environment with a pH that's close to five, and that's really the sweet spot for a robust moisture barrier. And this too keeps away nasty pathogens, which crave a higher, more alkaline pH. Now your microbiome can also team up with your skin's immune system to control inflammation via a neat little system of checks and balances. When your skin's ratio of bacteria is off, the immune system will release these little antimicrobial peptides, which are like little missiles, to set things right, and they actually kill the bad invading bugs. And amazingly, those good bugs can sway immune cells the other way, preventing them from firing and triggering unwarranted inflammation when there's no actual threat, like in the cases of rosacea or acne inflammation. The skin's miraculous bug battalion also aids in wound healing, it curbs sun damage, keeps your skin plump and firm, and much more, and that's a whole lot of honey. So how do we take care of these precious bugs? Well, that's a key subject, so it gets its own video. The microbiome is a subject that is so near and dear to my heart that you will find a wealth of information about it on my website. So check it out at drwhitneybow.com and stay tuned for parts two and three in this series. Until next time.